All right, so today we got something really fun. We have some subscribers that, I think they sent me a message through, I can't remember if it was Facebook or what, but um, some subscribers that are down here from Oregon. Oh. Like, and they just showed up. And matter of fact, they are out in the arena now. And they've I was got wondering a couple horses. who that was. Yeah, we've got a busy day today. We've got all kinds of stuff planned, which, uh, which is great. It's Friday, Tri-Tip Tim's at it. Grillmaster Greg is on vacation apparently, but we got some brisket. But let's go out there and meet these guys. These are, yeah. again, they, they subscribe to our, uh, our training videos on mattmillsraining.com. And we always try to be available when we have time Were for they those just guys. Here in, um, in town? Uh, you know what? I think they were getting away from the cold, and uh, they're down here in the desert. Ah! Like I said, I didn't know exactly what time they were coming, but they're here. They're here. They're on. Yeah, they're riding. I think it's Tammy. Hey, Tammy! Yeah. Hi. Come on over. <laughs> Hi. Ramon. Hi, I'm Karen. This is my wife, Karen. Nice to meet Hi. you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. It's great to be here. Yeah. Oh, we're, woo, where yeah. are you guys from? Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, Southern Oregon. So we're down on the California border. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, the hi. Hi. I'm my Karen. wife, Karen. So you guys are subscribers, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah, you I enjoy them. Yeah. Oh, good. A lot. A lot. Good. good yeah, good. lots of help. So you, like, what do you what do you get out the most out of it? You think? Um, you know what? It's easy because you break down the stuff. You break it down. And for me, I need it broke down, and I need to be able to see it. So by watching you and watching you break it down, it kind of puts the pieces together for me. You know? So Super. yeah, yeah. Keep it simple, right? It, it's simple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. That's, yeah. Great. That's why we do it. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much. Oh, you bet. You bet. Well, I'm glad yeah. you're here. Well, well, it sounds like Ramon's got the horse there. We're going to work on a little bit. So what what are we what are we going to work on on this guy? Uh, I want to. Uh, See, when I'm loping the horse, I want him to hurt my horse, you know, that I, that I want them when I pick up the big collector. And, uh, the oh, that's right. You said, yeah, yeah, work on some collection. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what, let's jump out and let's see, let's see where you're at. You just mean kind of overall, like everywhere at the, yeah. every maneuver? Yeah. Now, have you been showing this horse at all? Uh, I showed him uh, three or four times, you know, last year. Okay. And then called me and stuff like that. They, they, Shut things down. Yeah. Karen, I'm going to jump in and help these guys for a little while. Yep, I'm going to go help I'll, Tim. Yep, and catch up with you. Yep. Let's see you get out there and lope some circles. Yeah. Oh, then, I mean, we can't blame, him, blame her too much just stepping off the trailer at a new place. So I just stick to... Right now, let's not even think about collection. Let's just get her back to thinking about you. When she leans out, steer to the middle, right? First step of getting one to circle. And I do that whether I'm gonna work on collection or whatever that day, I still come out, first make sure that horse is mentally with me. And I like this exercise here. So let her lean towards the barn or wherever she's wanting to go, then guide her back to the middle just like that. Very nice. And then don't help her, let her come this way. There you go. Now she's hooked on there. How old's this horse? Five, okay. All right, now she looks like she's paying attention pretty good. Go, go ahead and pick up on her. Ask her to bridle up and let's see. Okay, now go ahead and pick up a little softer and squeeze with your legs a little more and stay there a little longer, Ramon. Hold, hold, hold. Just stay there, stay there. There you go, now slowly release. Good. That's actually pretty darn good where you're at right there. What I see is I think if you pick up a little softer and use your legs a little softer and just hold a little longer, I think you're gonna kind of, you know, kind of teach her and show her that it's okay to get down there. Go ahead and start making your circle bigger and then start picking up and holding her again. Steady hold, steady hold. Pick up, get a little hold of her mouth there, Ramon. There you go. A little softer with your legs, but stay there, stay there. Hold, keep that pressure on that bit. Keep that pressure until she really drops down in the bridle. Right there, now slowly release. Good. And then pick up and do it again. Real steady, drive forward, drive forward. There you go. You're gonna get this on this horse, no problem. What I think you're gonna have to do is just do that like 10,000 times. But what I, what I think you need to pick up and hold steady, right? 
and just get her straight because she's not being too resistant. If she wanted to be really bad, maybe I'd break her off one way or the other. But I just, once first I'd make sure that she's, she's staring, locked on your circle. Okay. Then I'd pick up and hold, okay. okay? And you might want to play around with um, some different chin straps. Okay. So this chain here is not bad, but it's a little thinner. Okay. So it's got a little more bite. So if you get, and I'll show you some of my tack room. You, you probably have one, mm -hmm. but it's kind of a thicker log chain. Okay. It's gonna give maybe a little better, a different feel anyway. Cause she looks like she's trying to figure it out. And your hands are really good. But when you pick up and hold, right? and you drive her forward, if she starts to try to pull, then you can bump a little bit if you need to. She really wasn't doing that though. So I think you just need to ask for a little bit more, ask her to really get collected, and then you gotta do it over and over. There's no, there's no easy, uh, easy fix on that. Let's see your turnaround and see. I'm betting it's probably gonna help that turnaround too. Okay, now, now take your spur out of her and put your hand down. See if she goes on her own. Okay, stop. All right, we're gonna make this spin a lot better real quick. Okay. So this is gonna be real similar to that circle drill yeah. where you let them lean and then you steer back. You got this horse turning really good as long as you tell her. Yeah. What we gotta do is try to get her to do it on her own. Okay. So I want you to start that turn, use your neck rein, use your leg. Once she starts stepping, you put your hand down and stop kicking. If she stops or walks out, then put pressure and say, come on, go. I bet you it's gonna take just a couple minutes and she's gonna start going around on her own. Don't worry about speed, just get her spinning. Neck rein over, now put your hand down, sit still. Take your spur away. So I want you to wait till she completely stops. I want it black and white. And then when she does, you pull that neck rein and kick. And then put your hand down. Don't clog, no, no, don't, okay, stop. So what you're doing, you're using your spur and your voice to keep her going. Make her do it. She's a big girl. Pull that hand over, take your inside leg off, tap that spur. Now just sit still. There you go, there you go, don't help her. Now bring that hand over. Okay, stop. Now, would you mind if I got on and just showed you? You're gonna have this down quick. So I'm gonna let her put her head wherever she wants. Later on, if you wanna work on collecting her and having her you know, stand really cute and bridled up, you can do that. But this is gonna be what it's like when you show. Come here, so nothing. Now put my leg. I squeeze, she didn't move, so now I'm gonna tap. Once she starts, I'm gonna sit still and she's got a choice. This is what she wants to do. When she does that, now I'm gonna put pressure on her. But as soon as she starts spinning, I'm gonna leave her alone. When she stops or walks out, I'm gonna put pressure on her. I don't care where she walks right now. We'll get it back in a second. Don't stop her from making the mistake, Ramon. Let her make the mistake. And then when she does, put some pressure on her. Because think about it, right now, if you're kicking on and pulling on her in the spin, yeah. what sounds better to you, walking out here or staying in the spin and taking that, that pull and that, that kick? You're gonna want out. The hardest thing about this is to sit still. It's so hard. Because you want to help them, right? Yeah. But you gotta wait until they make that mistake. Well, that was pretty right there, huh? And so, so that's collection and we didn't even do anything. Oh, there, really nice. Now the next step, once you have, now this is not done, but once you have her going around and around good, I want you to go outside of that spin. Now you can work on that collection, trot her forward. So I'd drive her forward here until she gets soft and then I'd release. Drive her forward till she gets soft and release. You're gonna do two things. You're gonna get really good at getting her soft, but also she's thinking to herself, boy, I'd love to spin. I'd love to spin. And then we drop in and say, okay, here's your spin. That's already better, right? So I could quit there and pet her or 
once you, like you said, again, we're saying now you've got your first step down where she go around and around. Now you've got the second step where she's soft outside. Now I can work on that collection in the spin because I already know she wants to keep going around on her own. So now I could come in and start working on her frame, Ramon. But the thing is, I gotta watch at this point, when I go to working on her frame, if I release her and she stops or walks out, I have to go back to working on just that first step again, okay? Does that make sense? Because if she quits, then that means she's confused. Man, that's getting nice. Jump on and feel that. Now just go ahead and go into that spin. Now sit still, don't kick her. Boy, that looks, the, the video does not lie. Stop and pat her, awesome. Look what we got here. Uh-oh, oh, nice hat. You got uh, Schlomer's on, he'll be you happy. You never gave me a new one. Oh, here we go. I don't mind you wearing Schlomer's hat. He's, he's always I, wearing my hat. I don't mind it either. Uh, of course you don't, <laughs> of course you don't. Now I'm not giving you one. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Ramon, you got this hat. You earned it. Is red okay? Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I wear. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for your help. Absolutely. Happy to do it. Yeah. Damn it, we missed lunch. Brisket's all gone. I didn't miss lunch. You got some? I got it. You didn't save me? Look at this though. Look what Sierra brought. Think I, I should have one? Not, it's not really is, keto friendly. Is this not keto? But it might I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna. And speaking of diet. Speaking of diet, I told you high gain was coming. Mm -hmm. Jess and David, they came all the way out from California to talk to us about grain, you know, which always looking to try to step our game up, give our horses the best feed that we can. Mm -hmm. I think those guys are here. Let's go over and see what they got going on. Yeah. Uh, I think they, they got in on the lunch. They were supposed yeah, to have. Yeah, I had lunch with them. Oh, you did? So everybody had lunch except for me. Hey guys, I was gonna introduce you to my wife Karen, but it sounds like you guys already you guys already had lunch together. Yes. So anyway, I was telling her, you know, you guys are obviously with high gain. Yes. And you're you're, you're from Australia. Like, yes. Are you guys Australian or? Well, we are from California. <laughs> okay. uh, I just flew in this morning. Um, Jess lives out in Arizona now, but it, Australia is where this company was started in 1983, and we've been in the U.S. now for about almost three years. And so have you guys done stuff with like reining horses over there or is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the Western market is a big part of our business as well as all the other disciplines. Racing is huge, but definitely have been involved with reining as well. Yeah, well I'll tell you, one of the main reasons I brought you here, we have a lot of horses here, but there's one in particular, a real special one to me. It's a four-year-old, his name's Big. Mm -hmm. Wimpy's All In is his registered name. Just had a great showing at our biggest uh, event Oh, it was a couple months ago at the Futurity. Won the second go round of the thing and just an awesome horse. But uh, he doesn't eat very good. He's like mm -hmm. super picky. His weight, it's not terrible, but it's not the way my other ones look. And uh, I'm hoping maybe you have some answers. I hope we have something. <laughs> well, let me show them to you. Yeah. So this is him here. Let me pull his sheet off. Hey, so buddy. He's, he's four, he's a gelding. I mean, you guys are the experts, but that coat's just a little dull, and I've gone through all of the treatment for, you know, stomach ulcers, yeah. things like that. I just would love to get just a little more, we kind of like in the rainy world, we kind of like that little bit round look. Yeah. I think it looks good, they're healthy, but then also like when we go take them on the road, they seem to always lose a little bit of weight. Right. Sometimes when I look at a horse like this that's a little bit dull in the coat, long hair, Lacking in the top line, we first think, is it getting enough of the macros? Is it getting mm -hmm. enough protein, fiber, fat? Yeah, macro, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Your macros are, are protein, fiber, and fat. Okay. Yep. Um, and then we start looking to your micros, which would be your vitamin E, your, your vitamins and minerals. So he could be lacking in methionine or zinc, is, yep. and that's what's going to give you this dull coat. How do you find out if he's, I mean, was this blood test stuff? or? Yeah. Usually we, we can diagnose looking at the horse, yep. the age, finding out what you're feeding and do sort of a mathematical equation from there. And people like yourself, professionals that are riding for performance, you can feel under underneath you what's going on a lot more than the average person. So that helps a lot too. Well, I can tell you, you know, and then the other thing too that I forgot to mention, he's, he's really picky about even eating it. Right. Um, so that, oh, and he's, he's, eating taking, your mic he's right taking now. off my mic. He likes that. See, he's hungry. Well, if he's plastic, we're gonna be fine, <laughs> right? <laughs> Look at there, Bruce. 
Hi, Bruce. Bruce. I, knew, I beat you to the punch. I knew this was going to turn into something revolving around her horse. Yeah. So I just thought I would jump to it. Hi, Bruce. Can you tell us a little bit about Bruce? Gender? He's four also. He's okay. four. He's perfect in every way. Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> he has the sweetest personality. And would you say he's a hard keeper, easy, medium? Easy. Okay. Easy. Yeah, so I think, you know, you feed this one four pounds of feed and it does very well. You feed this one four pounds of feed and it does okay. That's where we start looking at, okay, what do we need to increase? What are we missing? Mm -hmm. Does this horse need more calories? Let's talk too, like I've, I've been doing a little research homework on you guys. Um, obviously, you got some extensive R&D research development because I see your stuff is priced a lot higher than others. I understand you get what you pay for, and I mean with everything. So tell me a little bit about, surely I must be feeding less of what you guys got or I don't have to do as much somewhere because I, you know, I've looked and as popular as you are in Australia with some big time uh, disciplines, obviously you got a good product, but tell me why, because I can go down to the feed store and buy something for 20 bucks. Not all feeds are created equally. I would say there's a, a big difference in the way that they're formulated. Our grain is formulated. Okay. Um, it's it's not because it's made all the way in Australia okay. and, you know, or anything like that. It's not all shipping. All right. Definitely not all shipping. The main difference is really what's on the inside and it is understanding. That's not to say our feed is better. Obviously we're, we're fans of high gain. Yeah. Um, as ambassadors of the brand, but um, it's it's understanding what's on the inside, and you have to start looking at things like vitamin E. Is it a is it a plant-based natural vitamin E? Um, what are the levels of selenium? Obviously, selenium is deficient in a lot of diets and, and a lot of the soil here. A lot of feeds have biotin in it for you know hoof health. Um, but look at the amount. Some of our grains have a full therapeutic dose of biotin. This guy's acting. He's, I think he's ready to eat some. Let's, yes, give it a shot. Let me shot. test it out. Yeah. Right away you're going to see, um, and feel free to taste any of this stuff if it looks appetizing for you. Um, David, David, you're passing the test right now. All right. Is that good? Are you kidding? There we go. Thank God. All right. I think we found the best, hunger is the best thing. We sit there and put it in front of him, and he's sitting there going, give it to me now. No, seriously, this horse would not eat like this. Really? Yeah. But, I mean, carry on. I don't mean to interrupt. No, that's great. Saying. That's great. And he, yeah. Approved, big approves. Him, you're like I'll tell you what, I think uh, I think we gotta let him just do his thing yeah. right here. That is, that is honestly, that is, Impressive. that is something. He's hungry. Cause he would sit and pick over a scoop of grain like that yeah. all night. You come back and there'd still be some there. Huh. Yeah. Crazy. So it's fantastic that he's right onto it. I wanted to test though. Ah. I usually don't do the whole handful. <laughs> I kind of pick myself. It's not sweet, right? Do you need a water? Yeah. Look, not bad. Mm. Not bad. It's not as sweet as you may expect. Well, thank you guys so yeah, much for coming you. out. Yeah, Appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to let you go that easy. I told you we had a lounge here with the bar, and you've got to come to the bar and have a drink with us. <laughs> no problem. You come to visit We're going to twist your arm. You, you got to have, have a don't drink. Don't tell me with a good time. Yeah, it's the end of the day. <laughs> no problem. We're done, guys. I think right. we. I think we're done here. I appreciate all the comments, all the questions. If you have any questions specifically on high gain. Send it to me, or, more, or better yet, send it to somebody that yeah. sent it to her that she knows. Uh, thank right. you so much for coming out, and uh, look yeah. forward to checking back in and seeing how how big does and yeah. Kamikaze's their challenge down right now. Yeah. All right, we look forward to coming back. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he took a little piece off. Is it still working? Great, buddy. Oh, good, good eye. <laughs> That's a first. Look at this. Oh gosh. So yeah, so he's transitioning uh, from a wire plastic size. So yeah, so where do we go from here now with this? <laughs>